What's up, y'all? This your girl Kat, and I'm back with another video. All right, so I wanted to come on here and address a couple of things and just let it be known. Although I said congratulations on my last video, I will definitely never ever be Team Brie. Um, so yeah, that is definitely not in my DNA. Um, and also I wanted to, um, you know, give a little bit to you people that come on and try to talk smack and, you know, things like that about my videos. If you don't like it, you can just clearly, you know, go to the next video. We all here and we all state our own opinions. So yeah, with that being said, I have something for you guys. Morning, dum dum. Me, no dum dum. You, dum dum. <laughs> yeah, because at this point, if you guys don't see what was done, how the movement was done, what was thought and planned out, then you just don't want to see it. With that being said, I'm going to play a few clips and do my commentary on them. But first, here's the first one. Let me know what you guys think. And I don't feel like I'm packing anything, right? Okay, cool. Noted. I walk out. I'm not. A, I'm not the person that's gonna go back and forth with you. I do not like that. I like walking away. And and you just keep poking the bear, poking the bear, poking the bear, poking the bear. Mm -hmm. Um, no, ma'am, not poking the bear. You just have anger issues. Let's say that. Yeah, anger issues. Poking the bear. This is what he's doing before I started. So let me go. So we, I'm going into the room. I'm quiet. I'm watching Love and Marriage Huntsville, right? So Martel and Melody is on there. Shout out to Melody. Damn, are we obsessed? He come out the bathroom and he like, yeah. He like, yeah, um, Martel, I see why you went outside. I'm going to have to go outside too. I'm going to have to go outside too. So I'm like, you had to go outside? What you mean you had to go outside? He like, yeah, I see why he did what he did. That's my boy, Martel. That's my boy. Okay. First of all, Martel never even addressed you or talked to you. And he like, oh, but Melody do. Melody be all in my DMs talking about stay, stay up, King. Stay, do, stay doing, stay healthy. Do what you need to do. I'm like, Melody be in your DM telling you that. So I grab his phone because his phone is on the bed. Um, it's giving obsession. And are we saying all this started over you watching Love and Marriage Huntsville? Of course, things boiled out of control, but you got that mad to go through his phone because of what he said then? Or were you just waiting on a moment to oust his ass and, you know, be gone, chunk your deuces up because you had been recording him for over two years? But it sounds like you fell for the okie doke because... A lot of men say things that they don't mean, or they'll say things that they know that will get up under your skin to get you back on your job, um, because that was the position that you said I do to. And so it sounds like you just weren't doing your wifely duties. Um, and I'm not going to say that in like a submissive way. I'm just saying like he you wasn't satisfying him, so he wanted to say something to get under your skin, and you fell for the okie doke. Let that next let that be a lesson and let that roll off of your skin the next time because they always say things that they don't mean. Or if they do mean it and you see the evidence for yourself, the physical evidence and whatever else, then you know what to do. You definitely go ahead and chunk your deuces up or you try to figure it out the best way you want to figure it out. Depends on how, you know, deep the love level is. I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments below about that first part. I do have a second video that I'm going to play. Here it goes. Oh, yeah. And this is for the ones who said that he never does anything for her or he never did anything for her. Yeah, he shined for one of her birthdays. Look at this. What's up, guys? Um, I'm trying to make sure my wife's birthday is epic. All right? Epic. So, like, last. All right, guys, so right here he is talking about um, uh, her, he, how he wants his wife's birthday to be epic. And um, how about they went out uh, to Magic City, which is a known, well-known, you know, um, men's lounge <laughs> strip club in ATL. And, um, yeah, so he basically is just explaining how 
he is trying to get his uh, music set up and do set it up to the Bluetooth so that um, when he calls her downstairs, she, you know, she's going to walk into this beautiful room that he set up for her. And, you know, he he just wants to show her um, how much he appreciates her being his wife. So, yeah, just take a listen. Hopefully she don't get that too bad. You know, when they hear gifts, they get to running like a mother. You can see. Oh, shit. Y'all hear that shit? Do any of y'all live up under people? If you ever heard that type of shit in, a, in an apartment complex, that shit make you goddamn have your broom hitting at the roof. You ready to fucking go up there and murder something, right? I'm glad I don't live with other people, but the kids give me enough of this noise when I'm down here. Hold on, hold on. I'm old school, man. It be taking me so long to link and pair shit. Bluetooth. Back in my day, they ain't had no motherfucking Bluetooth. Hold on, give me a second, Queen. What? Listen, address her as Queen. Bluetooth. Harris. Trying to get the music right. Acapulco, come on in. Acapulco, acapello. Oh my gosh, Stop. Who helped you? Did it myself, the same way you did mine. <laughs> no, it's a color scheme you had help. You told me what color you like. So <laughs> I made sure I got the we right color. You so freaking cute. Oh, thank you. Y'all, why that voice? Why? Why? Um, I know, you know, we still be young and acting young in our 20s and stuff, but not that. Like, come on. But just listen to how the rest of it is. Like, y'all think that's something. Just listen to the rest. Shout out to motherfucking Fashion Nova. But... I'm gonna make her rate these clothing out of this box down here, the Fashion Nova stuff. One to 10. Hopefully I picked the right stuff. I knew the sizes, but hopefully I, I picked out what she'll like, so let's go. 365 days have passed. Now we're right back to your special day. And before we celebrate, there's a couple words I need to say. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I wish you the best and so much more, but before I go, just know I love you more than anything in the whole wide world. I smoked hookah last night, so my voice kind of gone, but hey, I did what I could do. Happy birthday. So right here, he's basically, you know, he just got done serenading her, filling her up, um, just pouring into her cup and building her up the way she should have been built up a long time ago. Um, but it, it took him to actually build her um, the character and the confidence that she needed. As you can see, this is this probably happened daily. I, I'm sure this just didn't just happen on this day, which was her birthday. I'm sure. Oh. Okay, that is you. Yo, all right guys so it's a little lengthy so i'm speeding this part up um it's basically her uh rating her gifts that he is gifting her on her day um 
And that right there was the coach in a matching wallet. And she rated it a 10. Um, he had to go rinse off what I guess was some powdery substance that was in that package. Um, he thought it was anthrax, so he stated that. So, yeah. But now he is gifting her her next gift, which it looks like to be some shoes, um, some type of sandals. She rates that. Um, the next gift after this, I believe, is going to be some other type of sandals, I believe. So, um, yeah. And then this. Uh, let's see what this is, guys. Okay, so this is another little cute sandal. So, those are three pairs of sandals that he gifted her. Um, he said that right there was for him. It was, must have been some type, some type of lingerie for him. And she's excited because she said she has a stripper pole for him. Um, so, yeah, he can, he's finishing up gifting her. But he I believe he has one more gift for her that she hasn't seen yet. It's a big gift. He's all getting excited. So, take a look at what this gift is. So, she's very ecstatic. He gifted her this beautiful colorful Versace robe it's really nice and he also got him a not a matching one but also a robe Versace robe too to kind of lounge around in but his was black so he'll pull that out in just a moment but as y'all can see she's twerking on her husband which she always did because that's her husband, you know, that's what you should do. So there's his. He has his um, matching Versace, well, you know, uh, robe, but it's not the same color. It's black and gold. I actually like the black and gold, actually. I went to um, Alabama State, so that was our colors. Yeah, black and gold, ASU. Don't hate, no shade, okay? Don't don't even throw that my way. Just be in agreement. <laughs> oh, I'm just playing y'all, but I'm gonna be quiet. And let y'all finish out this. Everybody wish Miss Latrice a happy birthday. Make sure y'all follow me on the ground. Follow on the ground, man. That's a, on the that's, ground. A, that's a very special birthday gift right there. Now let's get her to 300K. She's at 280K right now on IG. Follow her at Miss Latrice. If you already follow me, you want to give me a at gift? Miss Latrice. Order you something from MissLatrice.com so you can be voluptuous. We're going to go live. Um, all right guys so that is the end of that um let me know what you guys think down in the comments below please do not forget to hit that subscribe button and the like button to keep your girl up in the algorithm okay i appreciate every last one of you guys if you made it this far thank you so 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 much and always hit that notification bell on your way up so that you'll be notified the very next time i drop another one all right guys this your girl cat and i'm out